And there's Bob Fosse with Carol Channing. Hello. And welcome. This evening we celebrate a woman who has touched the lives and hearts of many. Her name? Marie Allen King! <laughs> One of the first things that struck me about her was what a powerhouse lady. What have you got on your head? Take it! Woo! She takes an approach far more extravagant and ridiculous than you ever thought you should allow yourself to think and as soon as she says it it's the most reasonable and logical explanation for all things what honey you know, after i met marie i just remember thinking like this woman is a force to be reckoned with uh and she was but anybody who's ever met marie could probably say that you know she has this incredibly magnetic uh, personality and this charm about her, you know, there's you just want to know like what she has to say about anything. I will now count to 20 in the Indian tongue. Een, teen, tother, feather. Ah, I'm shot! She's brilliant, first of all, just brilliant. And she has an old world type of class. And yet, she does stay really on a cutting edge as well. That was there was quite a, a disturbance tonight, Gladys. A disturbance? Malcolm, that was a brawl. Marie wants you to not only appreciate the music, but appreciate the characters. I am a natural woman myself. Everything about me must be natural. There are eyes of every size and eyes of every hue. To a woman, love is on. A woman with no love is like a sandwich with no buns. She's always like, where's the sex? Where's the drama? Yes. Very yes. Marie. Very Marie. All of Denver wants to tell you how proud we are to know you. Thank you, Gladys. Her knowledge is boundless in theater, in music, in opera. She's one of the few women with whom I have worked who never betrays her convictions. I think one of her greatest abilities is to really look at her students and see what their talents are, you know, to take what we bring and transform it and hone it into what we will ultimately have to offer the world. She will not be subtle. She's never subtle. Uh, subtlety is for politicians. I met Marie Allen King 10 years ago. I have also recently been quoted as referring to the last 10 years as the best 10 years of my life. Direct correlation, you tell me. There were a few other teachers in my life who really helped me get here, but I'll tell you, I don't think I would be here doing the things that I'm doing without Marie. What one word best embodies Marie? I cannot use one word. <laughs> so a few would be uh, generous beyond belief. Determined. Sincere. Diva. Inimitable. Hardworking. Maternal. Fabulous. Renaissance. Majestic. The fun. Integrity. Teacher. Fabulous. Wicked. Dedication. Spitfire lady. Humor. Diva. Passionate. Brutally honest. Leopard print and all. That's what you mean to me. Every year about this time, I deal with people who are leaving us. Um, 
either for another position or retiring and going on to another phase in their life. Uh, oftentimes when this occurs, people use the word irreplaceable. That's not always the case, except in this one. Marie, you are truly irreplaceable. When you've grown up, my dears, and are as old as I, you'll often ponder on the years that rolled so swiftly by my tears, that rolled so swiftly by, and of the many lands you will have journeyed through. Hi Marie, Wayne Bryan here. You know, you and I have been friends now for almost 40 years. I know entirely too much about you and you know entirely too much about me. But I hope above all you know how much I appreciate the fact you came to Wichita and stayed. Congratulations on a breathtaking, innovative, happy long run at Wichita State University. We are all so grateful for everything you've brought to this community. And now here's to you, on to the next adventure. 